Hello, welcome to the Grow Jug today. Today I'm going to talk about French beans. These, when you're buying seeds, make sure you get dwarf French beans. They're the ones that fit in these nice little humps on the ground and they hold all their pods nice and proud. If you get climbing French beans, then they go across the soil and get eaten by slugs unless you put up some sort of trellis or something to hold them off the ground. Anyway, this is what they should be producing about now. You shouldn't plant them too early. They're tropical plants. They only just do well in Britain. Now you want to pick them when they're about this thick. Now how thick would you say that is? I mean, you can see my fingers if the camera lady will go in nice and tight on her. They're not ever so big, are they? They're not as big as the ones you may see in the shops. Pick these at this size. They've got more flavor in and there's less of the leathery beans inside and they actually cook wonderfully. When you pick them, make sure you either freeze them or cook them relatively quick because being so thin, they'll shrivel up, especially in the warm weather we've been having and then they're not so nice to eat. Now, the beans themselves have lots of beans on. You must make sure you go around and pick all the right ones every couple of days. If you let these get too big, the plants will stop cropping. And the plants can crop for another month before they're exhausted. Not only that, being a legume, they actually fix nitrogen through their roots and they improve the fertility of the soil. So these are really a crop to grow. Um, if you need to freeze them, blanch them first, which is putting them in some boiling water, bring it up to boiling point, leave them to cool down, stick them in bags and put them in the fridge. And when you prepare them, you just chop that bit of the stalk off, especially when they're this size. They're absolutely delicious. And these, I can't actually tell you what variety it is. I actually called on the shop outside and they went and weighed them out for me and got them. But they never did tell me the variety. But if you like the variety you're growing, then leave a few plants to really ripen and then hang them upside down in a shed come the end of September and then uh, the pods should dry up nicely and you should have some beans sown the next year. So French beans, well worth growing. And by the way, just a little note, they're not from France, they're from South America. So why they're called French beans, I have no idea. So anyway, that's today's Grow Joe. Um, sorry about the one, there wasn't one yesterday, I just got too busy. And I think by the look of it, we're going to have some rain. So we're just going to squeeze this one in now. So thank you very much for watching. And 